Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine and aware of our disclaimer. Today's story is Haunted House. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare triple five at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. On that chilly autumn evening, the sun cast long shadows as it dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of deep orange and purple. The air held a crisp bite that hinted at the impending cold of winter. As the last rays of daylight faded, my friends and I stood before the Nelson House, an imposing structure that seemed frozen in time. The house's once grand facade now bore the scars of neglect and decay. Broken windows stared out like empty eye sockets, and the walls were covered in patches of peeling paint revealing the weathered bricks beneath. Ivy crept relentlessly up the sides, its gnarled tendrils resembling skeletal fingers reaching for the sky. Whispers of the house's haunting past had been woven into the fabric of local law for generations. Tales of inexplicable apparitions, eerie cries in the dead of night, and the tragic fate of the family that had once dwelled within its walls had grown into a web of stories that both fascinated and terrified us. Despite the warnings and the chill that ran down our spines, curiosity gripped us in its relentless hold, and we resolved to uncover the truth that lay hidden within Nelson House's forsaken chambers. Stepping through the creaking iron gates, a heavy stillness seemed to descend upon the surroundings. The air grew dense and cold, causing our breath to materialize in faint puffs of mist. Flashlights clutched tightly in our hands, we crossed the threshold into the house's interior, where darkness seemed to have taken up permanent residence. With every step, the wooden floorboards groaned and protested, their complaints echoing through the desolate corridors. The feeble beams of our flashlights cut through the oppressive darkness, revealing glimpses of faded wallpaper and dilapidated furniture. The once grand foyer had succumbed to decay, its ornate chandelier now hanging crookedly, swaying gently, as if possessed by some unseen presence. Our journey led us further into the depths of the house, the hallway opening up into a grand space adorned with a portrait. The scene depicted a family, a mother, father, and two children, frozen in time. Their eyes, rendered with uncanny realism, followed our movements with an unsettling intensity. It was as though their painted gazes bore into our souls, filling us with a sense of dread that seemed to seep from the very fabric of the painting. As we pressed on, strange sounds began to reverberate around us, soft, ethereal whispers that seemed to drift on the edge of hearing. Distant footsteps echoed as if someone or something was moving just beyond our field of vision. We exchanged nervous glances, attributing the sounds to our imagination running wild in the face of the house's eerie ambience. But then, a voice, cold and insidious, seemed to slither into our ears, its words unintelligible, yet dripping with malevolence. A phantom breath caressed the nape of our necks, sending a wave of icy chills down our spines. Panic surged within us, the veil between the world of the living and the unknown thinning before our very eyes. 
In our search for answers, we came out upon a decaying library, its shelves lined with dusty tomes, that had, long since been abandoned. Amidst the forgotten volumes, a journal lay, its pages brittle and yellowed with age. Its ink had faded in places, but the words, told the chilling tale of a family's descent into madness. The journal's entries chronicled their obsession, with the occult, detailing rituals performed, in desperation, and a pact formed, with entities beyond comprehension. The family, believed that by embracing the darkness, they could secure, their salvation from a world, that had turned against them. One entry, its writing barely legible, spoke of a hidden chamber, within the house, a place, where they believed the answers, to their tormented existence could be found. In that dimly lit library, the weight of the journal's revelations, settled upon us, intertwining with the suffocating atmosphere, of the house itself. The pages, seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, and I realized that, L alone in that room. The shadows, danced at the periphery of our vision, and the air grew thick, with an undeniable presence, as though the house itself, held its breath, waiting to reveal its secrets. With our hearts, pounding and determination, driving us forward, we meticulously followed the instructions, penned within the journal's time-worn pages. Our palms, were sweaty, and the gravity of our decision, to explore the hidden depths of Nelson House weighed heavily upon us. A concealed doorway revealed itself, its hinges creaking in reluctant protest, as we pushed it open. Before us, stretched a narrow staircase, disappearing into the yawning moor of darkness below. The feeble glow of our flashlights, barely scratched the surface of the inky abyss, that awaited us. As we descended, step by cautious step, the temperature plummeted, and the air grew frigid, nipping at our skin like icy fingers. An aura of dread clung to the atmosphere, wrapping around us, like an invisible shroud. With every descent, the narrow confines, seemed to close in around us, suffocating and oppressive. The walls, damp and slick, seemed to seep, with the weight of the house's history. Our breaths formed, visible clouds, as we continued further, the occasional glint of moisture, on the walls reflecting our wavering flashlight beams. Finally, we emerged into a chamber, that seemed to exist, in defiance of reality itself. The flickering candles, that encircled the grotesque altar cast wavering shadows, that danced upon the walls, giving life to the ancient, faded symbols, that adorned them. The air was thick with an otherworldly energy, a pulsating hum, that resonated with our racing heartbeats. A looming shadow, featureless yet palpable, seemed to pulse in sinister synchrony with the rhythm of our breaths. The realization hit us, like a physical blow, we had ventured into the heart of something, that transcended human understanding. The weight of our curiosity, now mingled with an all-encompassing dread, our minds unable to grasp the enormity of the forces, we had invoked. The lines between the tangible and the intangible blurred, and the boundaries of reality, seemed to warp and bend. And then, a sound erupted, that shattered the fragile equilibrium, we had clung to. A bone-chilling wail, both ethereal and agonized, tore through the chamber, the very foundation of Nelson House quaking in response. The walls themselves, seemed to groan, and the air vibrated with an intensity, that struck terror into our very cause. Shadows, once confined to the periphery, materialized, into grotesque forms, twisting and contorting, as if drawn from the depths of our collective fears. Skeletal fingers, reached towards us, their touch clammy and cold. Panic surged within us, a tidal wave, that threatened to drown reason itself. In frenzied desperation, we turned and fled, our footsteps echoing off the walls, as we raced up the narrow staircase. The whispers, that had once been mere background noise, now swelled into a cacophony of torment, their words, incomprehensible yet suffused with malice. 
the air grew thick, as if every dark tale ever told, within the house's walls, was alive and clawing at us. Bursting into the corridor, we slammed the hidden door shut, the resounding thud a final barrier, between us and the abyss we had unleashed. Gasping for breath, we stumbled out of the house, our faces pale and our eyes wide with terror. We made a silent pact, to never speak of the horrors, we had witnessed within Nelson House, each of us haunted by our collective decision, to delve into the unknown. The house, now a looming silhouette, against the moonlit sky, stood as a grim testament to the darkness, that could reside within the human soul, and the dire consequences of tampering, with the forbidden. To this day, the memories of that fateful night, continue to cling to us, an indelible reminder, that some secrets are best left untouched, and some things, should never be changed, lost to time's unrelenting advance, such as some secrets and some places. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story in the comments, and if you enjoyed the story, give it a like and share it to let others know. Also, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and enabling notifications, so you don't miss any updates. But for now, it's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again in the next video, thank you take care, tata.